so uh, we are uh, back at the boat uh, in real life and uh, real time and it's uh, March 19th and we've been putting on anti-fouling on the hull for the weekend and today is a Sunday and uh, Tuesday it is uh, Tuesday uh, high tide we will splash so but this movie is, that you're gonna watch now is about the sailing we did a wonderful sail up the west coast of uh, Svalbard Spitsbergen do enjoy! <laughs> Moving. We are changing fjord today. So we will leave Cross Fjorden. Mm -hmm. And we just downloaded a weather forecast here. We will have some wind coming. This is now, and the wind will come here. But we are protected from the land there. So we're going from there up to this fjord, Magdalena Fjorden. And it's about like. 45, I think. 45 nauticals. And uh, we'll see, we'll just uh, put up uh, the dinghy and then we can go. Yeah. And it will be from straight from behind to start with and then uh, a little bit from the side. Mm. But there is sunshine for the fifth day in a row. Yeah, we have been really lucky with the weather in <laughs> Pittsburgh and so far. Anyway, it's good. We don't take it for granted. We bless every day when we have sunshine here. Yeah, yeah. Mm. and now we have wind, so we can sail. And now it has been a lot of motoring. Yeah, mm. good. It's gonna be good. Mm. And up there, uh, everything is in very close distance. But we are still searching for our first polar bear. Yeah, I had a lookout ever since we came to this anchorage yesterday, and for foxes, they promised foxes. And, and, well. and we still here people saying oh there were three here this morning yeah. blah blah oh, blah haven't you seen them it's mm. like hmm I everybody think, sees them all the time yeah or or they just say that to annoy us <laughs> look I have a friend here he came and say hello to me Quite windy. It's uh, like uh, gusting 30 now, but uh, it's downwind, so it should not be a problem. We hope. Now it's diving. We are taking up the anchor now. So we came out a little bit, and uh, the wind is not as strong as when we were down by the mountain there. Uh, so we are thinking about taking out the Genoa instead because we are going downwind and there is it feels like there is no wind now but it is yeah you have to navigate between the you know you don't want to hit one of those in five six knots we have another one there so we have to ha keep a, a lookout so we have 18 knots downwind. Now it's just little from the last quarter. Yeah. Now we're picking up the speed. Good. We are not we are not racers, we are cruisers, so we this is perfect. We could probably the wind angle is yeah yeah we could maybe have the main up now. So we are 147 but that's yeah it starts to cover the you know that but we are we are not the racing type of sailors. And I'm quite happy we're doing six, six and a half knots. Down straight down wind and yeah. yeah. Even though we could do more. Yeah. But who is in a hurry? 
in a rush? Who is in a rush? Jennifer, maybe. Jennifer, rush. I think that's all. Yeah, and there is a Canadian. I think they were Canadian rock group called Rush. But that I don't know if it was Canadian. But they made a very good song was Closer to Your Heart or Closer to My Heart. You want to see how the uh, following seats looks like? Just check this out. Yeah, since the sun was uh, when I showed you on the weather forecast there, I can show you on the plotter more uh, detail where we are going today. So here we are now. So I'm showing. So we were anchored in there, we're coming out here. And, and so this is Spitsbergen coming out here, and then we go all the way up here. And hopefully in here, in Trinity Hamna, or there is another Björn Hamna up there, depending on the situation. Now it's gusting. How much is it gusting now? Thir 35. 35.2. And, and what speed are you doing? Uh, we're, the speed we're doing is 9.5, 9.7. Yeah, almost 10 knots. This is beautiful. Having dog house uh, lunch again, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, Antigua is doing good speed there now, so they probably catch us up. Mm. But we will get some food and then we'll pick up some speed. 
What do you think? Yeah, we will increase our saves. <laughs> <laughs> I think the wind is coming down as well. Mm. It's only blowing 13 now. Mm. So we just said that it's nice to see the coastline when we're sailing up here. See the glaciers coming down. There is another one. Sorry? They are actually called glaciers one, two, three, four. Are they? Wow. And the wind have died on us and we are not doing much speed now. We're doing three two point five three. Three, yeah. And we are enjoying a, a Mexican train Dominio digital on our phones instead in this uh, rolling and hoping for wind. What do you think about uh, the, our wind chances? Uh, it is coming, I am positive. We just need to get away from uh, the mountains because it is uh, southeasterly winds and the mountain are blocking us. Good. And I trust you, my weather woman. <laughs> my weather woman was right. Mm -hmm. The wind is back. The wind is back. But uh, we have to shift the sail to starboard side, and it was blocked by those mountains, I guess. But now it's coming from there, so we are a little bit confused, aren't we? Yes. They shouldn't be coming. Are you concentrating on your Mexican no, but train? they should be coming from there, but it is coming from there. Yeah. But uh, we don't care where it comes from, as long as it takes us forward. So we made it almost to the turn when we were going into the fjord, and there the wind really died on us but uh, you can understand that because it's totally blocked here of, of the mountains because they are quite high we have a small seal over there so that Janet was hoping that then there might be polar bears here so this is a popular anchoring. There is a big boat there and a small, the, the young French couple that we met uh, in uh, New Olsen. It's in there also. I'm on an iceberg watch. We have anchored here in Trinity Harbor, but uh, that one is coming close to us. So this one has come in during the night and it has come from over there and I don't know, gone around us and coming out here. I'm glad it missed us. But it looks like we're having a beautiful uh, morning again. But I can't see any polar bears though. There in the is the French small boat, 28 feet, and then there is this Sissel Mestern's cabin where there is this guards that we talked to yesterday. We are checking that everything, everybody has their papers in already and uh, yeah, correct them, have all the necessary documents that you, know, you need to have to be out there. The dinghy is in the water, everything is fine, there is no wind and it's just beautiful here. And we have a glacier in there which we are going to go into. And we have also this graveyard, it's called Graven Assets, that's an old graveyard. Which we're gonna have a look at. What did you say? You just don't get these days. It's magic. This is the sixth day in a row that we have sunshine. Yeah. And now it is so warm so you don't even need the hat on. 
we did not think this would happen here, I'm telling no, you. No, we were prepared to have Tokyo, which is... Fog. Fog. We were not expecting this. Vad landar man där? Jag kör bara rätt fram, tänkte jag. We have Sissel Mestern's boat, and the guys live up there, and we will... Is it the grave site? You can only be on this side on the fence, though. Jeanette is under attack there. Sluta <laughs> spring! No, they are on me. Oh my god. Har de mött bo? Har de gått där? Men de är inte borta. Det där är väl placken. That's where we want to go and read. And that's where they are. Bloody hell. Dog de? I don't know. I don't know if they departed or not. You be my guest and find out. Yeah. I don't want to go over there any longer. <laughs> you don't want to go there? <laughs> no, not if they're going to attack me. Oh, I would have loved to have read that plaque over there. But I guess we need to <laughs> find it out somewhere else. Now, this is a graveyard. <laughs> yeah. And we cannot go inside because uh, people have done in the past and it's all ruin no normally it should be some grass in there but just because uh, people have been walking there it's not possible any longer but it has been a graveyard for many years so people have come here for hundreds of years to have a look not a hundreds of years of course not but a hundred years to have a look and here goes our sisselman Sisselmennen. They are counting reindeers because uh, this is a, 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 an area where they usually are about 15 and so far they haven't really found them yet. So they think maybe they have migrated. Normally they don't because they don't walk on ice. Well they do walk on ice but there wasn't any ice for them to walk on so. Anyway, I think the Arctic Turn has uh, said to us, you're gonna go back to your boat and go and find another adventure today. have had a look at the glacier. Mm -hmm. The wagon brain. The wagon brain. So this used to be connected to this one. You see? There. And it has drawn back all this way. So these two were linked. And uh, yeah. What did you think? Well, it was uh, massive. And it looked pretty. But uh, brown with a lot of sediment, of course. It is but we have seen a lot of glaciers now. Now we have seen a lot of glaciers and this was the prettiest one. But it's a great uh, big tourist destination, this Magdalene Fjord. Yeah. But I, I guess it was more impressive in the old days when... I wonder how many years ago this yeah. happened. From there, the, connected to this one, all the way back there. It's not that super many years. I don't 
So what you're saying, we will have this weather for the rest of our stay or what? I don't think so, but until we get some northerly winds, I think. I mean, we're going to have some uh, four days more with uh, no winds. So where are the clouds going to come from? They can't come from anywhere if you don't have any winds. Yeah.